My sister adjusts my crown, and I shine my sister's crown with a sleeve. We link pinkies and flirt the stars down from the sky to breathe life back into them with mouthfuls of fire-tongued kisses. I bring food to my sister, still hot, urge my sister to eat, even spoon it into my sister's mouth when needed. My sister, oh, remind my sister to replace the water given so freely away to others. Remind my sister that the body needs its simple comforts to continue housing the strong magic of being my sister. I become evangelical in deserving when it, become, when it comes to my sister and, she, and, the, and my sister cannot muster the proper righteousness. I just rebroke these lines, it's fucked. I turn my sister's trembling hands, palms up, and empty into them everything my pockets hold until the weight of what I can give her steadies them. My sister calls me by my name when everyone else forgets it, sees me when even my own mother won't. My sister picks me up from the side of the road because my sister would never pass me by. My sister blots out the shame tail coating on my weakness, lays a hand to my bruises to remind the skin of its strength that it did not break, though it had every right to, considering the ungentleness it was met with. My sister reminds me that the bruise will fade, that I will not. When my sister's skin does break, because this time it couldn't not, I lay my hand to the split, remind it of its incredible knitting. I whisper parables to the skin where it returns stronger, shinier, a brand new jewel of flesh set into sturdy veteran flesh. My sister does not come to hush my sobs or wipe clean my devastation. Instead, my sister points my mourning face to the night sky. My sister releases wails that sister my own. My sister and I feed our sorrows, our rages, our regrets up to the hungry moon until it is full before resting our well-worked feet atop the feet of our joys and letting, us, letting them dance us around.